Hewlett Doppler is proud to present a revolutionary physiology-based method for performing the ABI in the seated position. Performing the ABI in this fashion makes it possible to assess patients who are not able to lay in the supine position. These patients may be physically disabled or wheelchair bound. Patients with degenerative disease of the spine or severe back pain, patients with advanced cardiopulmonary disease, and orthopnea. To begin the exam, have the patient sit erect in a chair with knees at a 90 degree angle. Their feet should rest flat on the floor or on an elevated platform. Feet should not be dangling. The VISTA ABS calculates ABI values for seated patients by compensating for the effects of gravity on the lower extremity pressures. Clinicians now have the option to perform ABI exams on their patients at risk using this fast, convenient technique. Wrap the cuffs around the arms and the ankles. Use the appropriate size cuffs based on the circumference of the limbs. Using a tape measure or yardstick, measure the distance in centimeters between the middle of the arm cuff to the floor and the middle of the ankle cuff to the floor. Subtract the ankle distance from the arm distance to acquire the vertical distance. Press Enter Menu to open the Options menu and press 1 to configure the exam. Press 1 to select ABI with PVR waveform. Press Enter Menu to open the Options menu and press 2 for System Settings. Press 6 to perform the ABI using the Doppler probe for pressures and then press Enter Menu to exit. Press Enter Menu to open the Options menu and press 7 for the hydrostatic correction. Enter the vertical distance in centimeters and press Save when finished. Start at the right brachial artery site. Apply gel to the right brachial artery site. Connect the hose to the cuff. Use the Doppler probe to listen to the blood flow. While holding the probe steady on the artery, press and hold pump to about 20 millimeters of mercury above the occlusion pressure. Release pump and the cuff will automatically start to deflate. Press save when you hear the first pulsation return. If you are late pressing save, adjust the pressure reading by using the up or down key as shown. Press save to record the systolic pressure and the marker will move to the next protocol location. Now we'll obtain the ankle waveform using PVR. Move the hose to the ankle cuff and press and hold pump to inflate the cuff to 75 millimeters of mercury. Release when the inflation automatically stops. Pressure will deflate to 65 millimeters of mercury for optimum PVR. Wait for the cuff deflating message on the display to disappear. If needed, use the scale key to optimize the waveform. After the waveform stabilizes, press freeze. Here you have two options. If the waveform is acceptable, press save to record it. Or use the up or down key to scroll to the optimum waveform, then press save to record it. Press save again to move to the next protocol location. Next, we'll obtain the ankle pressure from the dorsalis pedis artery using the Doppler probe. Apply gel to the artery site and use the Doppler probe to listen to the blood flow. While holding the probe steady on the artery, press and hold pump to about 20 millimeters of mercury above the occlusion pressure. Release pump and the cuff will automatically start to deflate. Press save when you hear the first pulsation return. If you were late pressing save, adjust the pressure reading by using the up or down key as shown. Press save to record the systolic pressure and the marker will move to the next protocol location. The VISTA ABS makes the hydrostatic correction based on the vertical distance entered prior to obtaining pressures. The corrected values are displayed. After completing the exam, press print and apply the adhesive backed labels with the exam results onto the report form. Or save the exam to one of the 10 storage locations as explained in the file management section of this video.